I was sitting on the couch and I was noticing this big feeding response off of this elephant ear coral. And when I was sitting on the couch, he was fully closed in. So I was wondering, what is this guy eating? And then when I walked over, I saw this little blue chromie sitting in the sand next to the coral. So I don't actually know what happened here, but my guess is that this elephant coral, elephant ear mushroom coral, caught this chromie and attempted to eat it. And it just wasn't able to take something quite that big. Nonetheless, it did kill it. So, like I said, I didn't actually see it happen, but I think it's a really weird coincidence that I got a major feeding response from a big coral and a dead fish. So, I'm thinking this elephant ear coral might be just as deadly as a carpet anemone. And I posted a video a little while back when I had my peppermint shrimp get eaten by this guy. And a lot of you guys said that you've had the same issue and that you've heard of other people having the same issue. So I think this might be one of those corals that you buy with caution. These things are cheap and they're really pretty. But over time, I don't know if this is what we all want in our tank. I'm gonna hold on to mine, but holy crap. He's about two years old now, at least as long as I've had him, and he's kind of starting to eat everything in the tank. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers, and I'll see you on the next one. Daddy.